Hi guys, today we're going to talk about having a weak mesh or having a weak mesh result. But before we continue, please give us a like and a subscribe. Before calling your Google Wi-Fi support team, you might actually try this couple of steps so that to check whether or not it will help. Also, do this actually help us to somehow cut the amount of time that we could spend talking to a representative? So, uh, just in case if you're having a weak mesh result, first uh, we might need to check the uh, distance between your Wi Fi point. Uh, there is actually a recommended distance between two Wi Fi points. To, that is to ensure the uh, stability of the mesh connection. If it's too far, then we might need to uh, put them a little bit closer, um, especially if there's a wall in between or if there's anything that can affect radio signals. Now the recommended distance between two Wi-Fi points are around 20 to 25 feet apart. Also, to uh, check, uh, we could also try to move them on a different location with the same distance. This is to check whether or not there would be an improvement with the mesh signal or the mesh result. Um, just in case, if we're going to have an improvement, uh, try to check on the uh, previous location whether or not there is um, some material or um, devices that can affect uh, the uh, mesh uh, mesh signals or mesh connection. Okay, now if you're actually living on a multi-level house, it is not recommended that you're going to put the uh, Google Wi-Fi directly on top of one another. Since the uh, signal coming from your Google Wi-Fi is actually going uh, almost on a sideway uh, direction. So putting them directly on top would not be an ideal place uh, for them to be. Just in case if they're, they are within the uh, 20 to 25 feet or closer and still getting a weak mesh result, uh, try to turn them or try to turn the whole network off for five minutes. Okay, then after that, uh, try to turn them on or turn them on starting from the main one and then the Wi Fi points. Try to check if that will work. Yeah, we 
could also try to uh, hardwire the um, Wi-Fi point to your main Google Wi-Fi. This is to uh, try to resync the Wi-Fi point from the network. I uh, could actually do this for about 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, uh, to somehow try to force the uh, Wi-Fi point to uh, resync to the network. Now this will just work with OnHubs, Google Wi-Fi, and Google Nest Wi-Fi routers. It will not work with the Google Nest Wi-Fi point since they don't have Ethernet ports. Now, if you're still getting a weak mesh or a weak mesh result, we could try to reset the Wi-Fi point. Okay, so once it's on setup mode, we can try to re-add it to the network. Now, while doing this, it would be best that the Wi-Fi point is on the same room with the main Wi-Fi or the main Google Wi-Fi, or as close as we can so that it would be easier for the main Google Wi-Fi to detect the uh, Wi-Fi point and so that it could easily add it to the network. If after doing all these steps and we're still getting the same result, we're still getting a weak mesh, then that's the time that we could coordinate with your Google Wi-Fi support. Just step and know what was done already so that you'll just move forward from there. The representative will let you know if uh, we need to do a couple more troubleshooting or what will be the next step. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching till the end, and I uh, hope this helps. Until the next time, bye for now.